put it like this, the dog will indicate on this side. Here in the airport, working with uh, larger amounts of TATP is too dangerous. So we looked for a way to train the dogs in a safe way, safe for the dogs and safe for the handler, but also safe for the people who are visiting the, the airport or taking an airplane. So uh, finally we found a solution together with the uh, European Union. Uh, the laboratory of the European Union was able to develop a spray containing TATP and we can use it to spray it on objects um, that uh, passengers uh, take with them or on clothing of passengers so we can teach the dog to uh, detect the spray in a real environment. Uh. So the advantage of our spray is that the TATP, which we produce here under well-controlled laboratory conditions, is dissolved in a solvent and that makes the resulting solution uh, completely safe to handle. And that means that it can be used um, in the field by uh, security officers or airport inspectors to check that the detection equipment and the detection dogs are operating at the highest possible level. It's not easy at all for the dogs to uh, work with the spray because uh, we only use a very small amount of TATP. Um, and they have to be able to de de detect uh, that uh, small amount of TATP. So you have to work very carefully and very precise uh, to uh, uh, let the dog uh, detect and point uh, to the TATP. Uh.
Since we made the TATP spray available, we've had a lot of interest from different stakeholders such as um, law enforcement, airport inspectors, um, also explosive ordnance disposal technicians. So it's proving to be a very popular product because people want to check in a real world setting that the detection equipment or the dogs can reliably detect TATP.